That's right, I did. Well, maybe you should go and, and say that to, to Hillary Clinton or, 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 or President Trump to their face. Oh, you already did. Why don't you just go to Joe Biden and tell him to his face. What you guys say to Joe Biden right now? <laughs> What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you've seen that. <laughs> she's like, I'm a millennial. I'm on TikTok. No, she's younger than Rona, probably, actually. Well, we eat Chase Pizza. In hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Welcome to your local post office, guys. You're in Auditing America. Share, like, and subscribe. Find us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Find Fake Mike Real News. Fake Mike Real News. Oh, yeah. Taking all the risk or whisk. I'm taking a large whisk carrying this thing in here with me. It's taking a large whisk. Coming to these public places doing First Amendment audits. Will Turb is wearing a body cam today. I'm looking like a cop. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, you got any ID? ID. Mind if I see your ID? Anything illegal on you? You mind if I search you? Look, the judge just said that I'm going to have to it's rape a, you scan it's you. It's a judge's order. It's a judge's you know, order. The, 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 the yeah. judge is the judge's order. We need you to uh, oh, tuck yeah. toes, bend over, and cough. Judge's orders. Why do we have a line here and no employees up front? <laughs> Whoa, do they Move the line, please. They're all spying on our... Move the line, please. That's actually the article right here. U.S. Postal Service is running a covert operations program, Yahoo. Daily Mail, USPS admits it is spying on Americans. New York Post, USPS admits to spying on American social media posts. Creepy. Oh. Thought yeah. they were just supposed to deliver mail. <laughs> oh, no. They delivered the mail uh, wrong the other day. Just they like sent... They send it to, to uh, uh, it was supposed to arrive in Springfield, Massachusetts. It made it to Springfield, Missouri. Just like they uh, delivered the, the ballots. They're uh, all up in my inbox. Yeah, no, that's one thing that they need to fix because um, if somebody lose uh, a package, they, they don't even have, they, they say they have a way of tracking, but a lot of the times they don't even know where the package is at or when it will arrive. Well, they say it's in some, it, it's in some, uh, inside some truck or something. They know? said my, my ex-girlfriend said she lost the package because it was a nano package and it was so small that it. Terrible. What does your shirt say? Be gay, do crime? Yes. What type of crime? Any you know, it's, crime. it's a matter of moral obligation to disobey an illegal, uh, unlawful law. So I appreciate that. Learn cool shirt. Thank you. Oh yeah, I love your Crocs. <clears throat> do you do you guys know how to tell the difference? I watch a lot of Animal Planet. Do you guys know how to tell the difference between a croco crocodile and an alligator? Oh yes, it's by the mouth. Yeah. No, one will say "see you later." The other one will say "after a while." <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah, guys. Right here on Universal TV, Will Turbis first bad joke on virtual reality. All right, got another joke. You guys ready? All right. <coughs> you guys ready? This is improv. This is my practice for improv. So a beer walks into a bar and he says, "Can I have a Jack and a Coke?" And the bartender's like, "Hey, what's with the pause?" And he's like, "I'm a bear." <laughs> Am I right? Anybody well, like that? That's another bad joke by Will Turbin. Back to back, guys. We have a back to back. Yeah. Nothing to see here. He right. said, the third one is a strike. Oh, you cannot. Third one's out. No, not yet. I actually feel comfortable in, in this place. I'm, okay, you, are we going to move in here? I, I'm trying to. Yeah, idiot. You're an idiot. Oh, yeah, guys. So, we're here at the post office. Lawrence. Oh, yo, come here. Look, someone, someone, get this on video. Someone's been putting things around. I'm not going to say it. Don't read that. But some people are putting things around the post office. Take a look at this. I like this idea. I really like this idea. This is a cool form of activism. 
Interesting. Someone is doing... Someone's someone's taking papers. Now, this is a great form of activism. Mm -hmm. We should be doing this everywhere. He looks like Clark Kent. Clark Kent, Superman's alter ego. And we are in Kansas. Oh, yeah. Watch some people hiding from us. <laughs> Superman? He may be Superman. Are you Superman? Sometimes. Oh! Hey, well, you just did by you, giving us uh, Poster 7. And you just gave us the name of the video. Superman First Amendment Audit. Oh, Superman yeah. Exposed. True Identity Exposed. The title the and Harry Connick Jr. is back to steal all my girls. Jesus. Hey, oh, yeah. take a look at this. Home of the cheese. Take a look at this activism right here. Although Mahomes is a sellout. Mahomes. <laughs> you gotta cut that out. There you go, Mr. Universal. Yeah. Inappropriate. Hey, <laughs> someone's doing activism here. Don't don't read it out loud. But look, oh, someone left that paper here. Interesting. Someone look this. Someone left this paper here. Interesting. Oh, they're reading papers. This is a great form of activism, oh. guys. They're randomly, Look at this. They're quietly meeting. little Easter eggs. Oh. And when you open it up, it's a USB drive of all of Ron Paul versus the Fed. And fake micro real news on Audit in America. Oh, yeah. Body cam Billy out here. And this is what we're going to do. See, the U.S. Postal Service thinks that it can covertly spy on Americans, creepily spy through our social media post. But we can fight back. Legally and lawfully, nonviolently, of course, to create a more altruistic world. However, we have to be pragmatic. We have to be strategic about this. People like the Bilderberg Group, people like the Council on Foreign Relations, people like the Trilateral Commission have been meeting in secret against the Constitution, against the Logan Act, to determine our future. Not only to determine our future, the future of our children. Not only that, but to take our basic human freedoms, our unalienable rights, away from us. And if they can plot to do that and have been successful, well, surely... We need to do something nonviolent to help create a more altruistic world. One of the ways we can do that is this form of activism which we're currently engaged in, or this other activism which we saw this other person oh, engage yeah. in here. So there's a million and one ways to do Constitutional it. Constitutional Easter egg. Easter, Easter egg. eggs. I like that. I, I, I would change it to in Kapistan ahead, Easter eggs, but I do like the idea nonetheless. Oh, yeah. With the premium well, upgrade, you get Enrique's voice. We, and if you pay for $2 more, you can get the girl TikTok voice when you open your package at the post office. When your boyfriend won't let him take <laughs> <Yeah>. your hoodie. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the AI voice from TikTok. Pardon Welcome me. to your local post office. You're next in line. Please step forward. Cool frames. This is very stylish. This has to be, you know, we've we went to thousands of government buildings. We've confronted elite wizards, the Clintons, the Bushes, Trump. But I have to say, this area has to be some of the most stylish people. You think it's Midwest. They're a bunch of po folks in overalls, but no, these people are quite stylish. We have Harry Connick Jr. in line right here. Next private property place? You want it? I know, yeah. No? I'm a hands of full. Oh, true. 
Sorry. That's what she said. Okay. For private property. Mandate is just a request, guys. It's only a formal <coughs> request, isn't that right? As a matter of fact, that's entirely correct. The executive and judicial branches actually don't make laws. That's a legislative branch. And according to Marbury versus Madison in 1803, any law that is repugnant to the Constitution is therefore null and void. So the legislative branch is the only ones that can make laws. They cannot make laws that break your constitutional rights, all they do all the time. <laughs> but uh, specifically, judges, specifically, 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 specifically judges specifically. hold no authority to issue a mandate, nor does any person from an executive department. Right? That's the three branches of government. We were just in Topeka where they failed civics horribly. Sorry, Doug.